Hello everyone. This right here is a 2018 uh, GMC Acadia with 3.6 liter high feature engine. If uh, you guys get a warning light on the instrument cluster about steering assist reduced, uh, it's usually the uh, coolant temperature sensor that sits right here and then the thermostat there's a bulletin on GM uh, site they have a service bulletin uh, they initially when people started noticing it uh, they would replace the um, electronic steering rack with the motor and everything and that uh, wouldn't fix the issue so uh, finally they zero down that to the coolant temperature sensor because the steering rack receives a signal uh, depending on whether the temperature is hot or cold it receives the temperature from the coolant temperature sensor if it is cold it'll add a little bit more effort because the grease would be cold in there if it is to operating temperature then it doesn't have to put more effort to uh, provide comfortable steering for the customer uh, other times the thermostat would get stuck open uh, like the one I have but once you're there uh, either one if the sensor is bad the recommendation is to just go ahead and replace the thermostat with it if the thermostat is bad, replace the temperature sensor with it because they're both sitting next to each other and you do not want to do the same thing all over again. Uh, the plenum has to get removed. The fuel injectors, fuel rails, the injectors pop out with it. They have to get removed. And the new thermostat comes with the water passage. This is the new thermostat. Uh, built onto this thing. You can get them separate but uh, GM provides it with uh, the water passage and this is how the new temperature sensor looks like. It's redesigned, It's it's got smaller compared to the uh, old uh, high feature engine where the uh, thermostat sits right over here. You don't have to remove any of these. You just remove the mount bracket and you can get to the thermostat. Uh, with this one, it, I think the more engineers put their thought, thoughts behind it, they got weirder. And they got weirder and put them between the two heads. And it's really easy, it's really not hard uh, to get to it. But make sure you drain the coolant because if you guys do not drain the coolant and you remove the fuel rails once you take the bolts out there's two of them that holds the thermostat down once you take these two bolts out and the rails are out the injectors pop out with them then the coolant gets inside the cylinders which then again you have to blow them out with a blow gun air blow gun and then uh, try your best to make sure no coolant is left there but overall it's not bad it's uh, not complicated it's simple and it's easy um, the reason why I'm doing it is because the thermostat is stuck open but they also have the uh, steering assist the car has a steering assist light that illuminates on the instrument cluster which typically it is the uh, coolant temperature sensor that sits right next to the uh, thermostat on that side. It's that one right here.